Hey everyone and welcome back to another episode on doing Cody things. Now today's episode is about something that I put off forever. Like you guys know, I love movies. Movies are such a big part of my life. I love creative writing. I love just like everything to do with that industry. And animation is no exception. And one of the greatest animators regarded by many is Miyazaki and Studio Ghibli but Miyazaki more pinpointed. And up until a couple of weeks ago, I had never seen a Miyazaki film, which most of the time led to like, oh, like gasps and uh, really upset people talking to me like, how have you never seen these? How have you never seen any of them? And I just kind of put it off forever. And for, to be honest, for a long time, I didn't even know about them um, because they are a Japanese anime style movies that, you know, have English dubs for them now and it's really hard for me to just watch Japanese anime even subtitled. I can watch them dubbed but I have to be really into the anime to watch it with subtitles. So that's one of the reasons why I put it off for so long. And then the other day hanging out with Anna Marie and she was like I'm gonna buy uh, Spirited Away. She needed to watch Spirited Away and she also bought Howl's Moving Castle. But before that what got me watching it was Nate ended up buying Princess Mononoke and he was like I love this movie I need you know I just I haven't watched it in a really long time I need to watch it and he left it and he went to work and I was like you know what it's it's time so I threw on Princess Mononoke I watched it and I enjoyed it it was very cool animation style I think uh, one of my friends told me that was the last one where he did all of the hand drawing for it so every frame was hand drawn uh, kind of like the old school Disney movies, but uh, it was good. I enjoyed it uh, there My only qualm was with it was there wasn't really in that movie a clear protagonist and a clear antagonist There was there were protagonists and antagonists, but it involved the same character So it was just your point of view and which way you were looking at it and they made you sympathize with both sides So it just wasn't really clear. I guess it is a uh, guess there is a pro and an antagonist for both but it's just where you re reside in the line. And so the movie overall was good. The voice, act the voice acting was great in it. The only character I didn't really feel like fit was they had Billy Bob Thornton in it and I felt he was a little too monotone for it. But I enjoyed the movie overall and it you know, put me on my Studio Ghibli journey, or my Miyazaki journey, I should say. Um, like I said, Anna Marie brought, bought those movies, so we sat down and we watched Spirited Away. I like Spirited Away more. It had smoother animation and it was just kind of a cuter flick overall. And Anna Marie is obsessed with No Face and I had no idea what No Face, what a No Face was. So I got to see No Face and I got to experience that. So overall I really liked that. That there was, you know, the protagonist, the antagonist, although the antagonist was more uh, kind of like consumerism and piggish habits and stuff like that of humans and it's just kind of just followed a little girl around as she tried to survive in this demon world you know and uh it was it was very cute and i enjoyed it very much and then the third and the last one that i've watched so far was howl's moving castle and howl's moving castle so far has been my favorite i really enjoyed this one i love fantasy and i love things that deal with magic and sorcerers and you know it's just that's my cup of tea and curses and things like that. So Howl's Moving Castle is fantastic and I think the voice cast for that was even better in my opinion. It had Christian Bale in it and it had Billy Crystal which I'm a huge Billy Crystal fan from I grew up watching his movies and I just I just enjoyed that one the best so far. Um, I had to look it up. I looked up all the Miyazaki films and there's eight so far. Another one's coming out in 2020 so I got five more to go. I think uh, Kiki's Delivery Service or Ponyo, 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 Ponyo. One of those two is going to be the next one, but I gotta wait until I find it somewhere so that I can watch it, the English version because that's just the way that I am. But that's my experience so far with Studio Ghibli and more specifically Miyazaki films. They've all been good. I take nothing away from them, but Howl, Howl's Moving Castle has been my favorite. So if you guys have watched these and you know you give me that, that eye popping jaw dropping emoji that's fine because I haven't hadn't seen them yet but uh, if you haven't seen them I definitely recommend giving them a shot especially if you know somebody who has them borrow them and check them out because they're very solid films 
that's gonna be it for me today though guys hope you enjoyed this little video about you know my journey through this so far I'll make another one maybe when I watch another three of his his films and uh, I'll talk about them some more so don't forget to give this video a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet hope you guys are all having a wonderful day and I'll see you tomorrow.